Well, I just had my first real Canadian experience. I'm Mark. I'm Morgan. This, this is, is Willow. Willow. And, and we, we are Grove, Grove Electric. Electric. It is another rainy afternoon, but uh, it is one o'clock and we're finally going to leave the house after we had some lunch. We're going to go to Halifax and we were going to go to a dog park there, but Willow <laughs> is just still way too tired. So we're just going to walk around there. It's a dog friendly area. And like I said, we were able to get 51% on the charging from the house using that TT30 and adapter. Remember, last night we pulled in at 3%. So yeah, 3% to 51%. Big change. Technically, the car says we could make the round trip, but because we have some other things that we wanted to do out there, we are definitely going to have to uh, use a supercharger today. Uh, because I'm not trusting the two percent arrival and <laughs> doing it if twice. We did a round trip, two percent arrival yeah. back here. No way. No, thank you. Let's go explore. All right. So we just arrived in Halifax, and to our surprise, it is not this uh, cute, quaint little town that we thought we were going to. Especially with the dog-friendly businesses, it's like a city, and people are literally parked in a lane of travel, like the right lane. There are parking. A, you can't use not it. Not a driving lane. It's a parking lane now. And, it's weird. And we'll also touch upon the excessive use of roundabouts in Canada. I absolutely love it here, but there is a million and one roundabouts. Every time I'm traveling, I have to use at least seven roundabouts. I swear. There's a lot of roundabouts. But uh, officially, we cannot make it back. Uh, it says we would arrive at 1% and we have to stay below 95 kilometers to reach our destination. And there's way more I want to do than just putter along. So <laughs> we're definitely going to take up some supercharger. But we were able to travel 114 kilometers on the 51% uh, that we had. Well, and well, it's not on 51 yeah, We still have 24% left. We did which arrive will be 24. plenty to get to the supercharger that we need to get to. So. Yeah, let's hope. Let's hope it doesn't drop down like last night. 11, 8, 3. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> we'll see. But uh, I think we're going to get some coffee, right? Yeah. We just drove one hour for a cup of coffee because sadly... The item that I really wanted, and Morgan also wanted too, is sold out. It's uh, a homemade Pop-Tart. Homemade Pop-Tarts. The last three flavors that they had were Nutella, my favorite, a carrot cake Pop-Tart, mm. and a blueberry cheesecake Pop-Tart. Did they even tell you what they had today? No, oh, well. but it's on Facebook, but oh. <laughs> I didn't look because I did look this morning and they said, yeah, we posted around 1030 and it's only, well, it's now three o'clock in the afternoon and they're sold out. <laughs> so it must probably, have been a good one. They were probably sold out by 1130. <laughs> Dog friendly apparently means that dogs are allowed on the premises, but not in the building. But I, this there was are a some food business. establishment, yeah. but like businesses, like clothing stores, department stores, things like that, they would welcome the dogs in. But of course, this place makes food. They're not going to have dogs running around the restaurant. Yeah. If you don't know, I hate cities. Yeah. Like, we hate cities. Yeah. I get so stressed out in a city. I can't do it. So the fact that this is more city-like, we're both just already annoyed. And um, I guess I'm we so should have done we more research. I'm, right, I'm pretty sad about that, too. We're going to go see if we can look at some flowers. Mm -hmm. And Public if not, garden. then we're just going to go to the charger <laughs> and then find dinner somewhere. But, Oops. oh, it's also like snow raining. Mm -hmm. Snow raining. And the worst thing about that is the automatic wipers do not work. No. So I have to constantly tap the stalk or I could just put them on like Solid. a slow rate. Yeah. But I like my auto things like I why can't it just either rain or not rain or snow? I, apparently it's snowing right now. So but it is 47 degrees. So <laughs> let's be real people. It's not He's really just snow. dreaming of snow. It does he look says like he doesn't snow like from the, the cold, outside. but I, I beg to differ. I do. I don't like the cold. <laughs> you do. <laughs> we did not go to the public gardens because the parking situation was horrendous being in the city. And honestly, that was probably our least favorite part of the trip so far. Just being in the city with the amount of congestion and pedestrian traffic, it was not that fun. But we left the city, we left Halifax, and we made it to the Enfield Supercharger in Nova Scotia. We arrived at 8% state of charge, 
and we traveled 162 kilometers total. When we said 47 degrees, we meant 47 degrees Fahrenheit. Yes. So clearly it was not snowing. I was just kind of being sort of grumpy because I didn't get my Pop-Tart. I will mention though that I do prefer snow over rain. So if it is going to be precipitation, I would much rather have the snow over the rain. But here in Enfield, this uh, supercharger is at an Irving, which is pretty much the most common thing around here, which I believe is most like a pilot and if you don't know what a pilot is check the las vegas video because pilot is a truck stop and irving is clearly a truck stop and they have a lot of nice amenities and one of the best amenities that they do have is this thing called a bark park which is awesome if you're traveling with a dog because there's a s small fenced in area that you can let your dog off leash to use the restroom or play with her us truck stops get on it let's get some bark parks or whatever you want to call it paw areas i don't care but we need it for the puppers so we're going to charge up here we're going to charge to 80 percent so we have no worries and we can go and find some dinner and maybe find some other things to do because it is pretty early it's only 405 for that charge in enfield costs us 26 dollars and 20 cents canadian and uh we have 80 percent state of charge now so we can drive all night no <laughs> no no thank you the destination is definitely getting some food I think Morgan might be getting a little hangry. We were going through a menu and she won't let me pick anything. Right. So Finally back from, uh, we did a little pick... excursion, yeah. I'll call that. Yeah, <laughs> and we did get the grub and we did get the pizza. So we're very excited to try it. Uh, we were not gonna be let down like last night or at least we hope we won't be let down. But we did figure out two things on this drive that um, are pretty important, I think. One don't go the opposite way around the lake to come to this house because instead of being 600 meters on the dirt road because this is a private road you're 3.6 kilometers on the dirt road that was brutal it was traveling a long drive home yes but it's okay i just wanted to see what the other road had to offer no and it i was, it was dirt that's what it had to offer yeah it was dirt and i, I didn't even see the sign like the pebble mm -hmm. sign from the no. roadway so that I don't was think they had one Secondly, y'all Canadians drive fast. I mean, it's not uncommon to keep up with the flow of traffic to be 30 to 40 kilometers over the posted limit. Like, if you're not driving their speed, get out of the way because <laughs> they are cruising, which I love it. It's great, but definitely recognize that. So tonight, we arrived here at 49%, and we are staying local tomorrow. At least that's the plan. That's the plan. So we just set it to charge to 70% and we actually did a scheduled departure. So we don't plug, we're plugged in, but it's not charging right now. What's going to happen is we're going to depart by 8 a.m. So at some point tonight, the car will start charging to reach 70% state of charge by 8 a.m. That is really good for the battery. If you know that you have a, a certain time you're going to leave, scheduled departure is the way to go. And that's what we use every day before work, but, but we haven't used it on this trip yet. And you also want to do it only if you're at like a reasonable percentage. So like last night would not be a good time to do this. But today oh, no, we're no. at 49% charge. So we have plenty of battery until it kicks in with the charging connection there. So no. yes. Yeah. Yes, Definitely don't do that. it if you're at 3%. No, but if you're 49, in the, you're fine. If you're in the danger zone, you need to charge right away. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So we're about to go in, have some dinner and... We'll see what tomorrow brings. Our final morning. Well, yeah, really our final morning here, here. in Nova Scotia <laughs> because tomorrow is the return trip. But if you want to see what 3.6 kilometers does to a Tesla on a dirt road, uh, let us show you. So this side, as you can see, it's pretty dirty. You know, we're definitely going to need, I would say like a light rain maybe help that. I'm not sure hundred percent and then it gets dirtier and then BAM it's filthy this side's really bad it's like a scene out of my cousin Vinny yep hey, we're famous for our mud it's just dirt it's dirt everywhere so at some point today we'll uh we'll be trying to find a car wash and we won't be going that way to the house this evening we'll be taking it real slow but guys look at this view absolutely gorgeous we have had the opportunity to look at this all week long 
And so even though we like to go out and do a lot of things, it was just so nice to be in the house. It's so quiet, so peaceful. Seeing a little bit of wildlife. I saw a couple, uh, couple beavers, which was really cool. I was really fascinated by the beavers in the wild. Like that just blew my mind a little bit. And a lot of ducks. And there is a kitty somewhere. He comes around, he hops up on the porch every now and then. But man, even though we didn't get the beautiful sunsets that we were hoping for, it was just absolutely amazing to be here. And... Okay, so we have arrived at the trail and we have 65% state of charge. It is called the Millennium Trail and the trail leads to the Rotting Ravine Reservoir Park. So I guess it could be called the Millennium Trail or the Ravine Trail, I'm not sure. But as you can see up here, there's a uh, Willow and Morgan. Morgan is bundled up, I'm bundled up. And Willow has on her Spark Paws hoodie. And I don't know if you can see it, so I'm gonna catch up to them. It's really cute. Hey Will, in your hoodie. Well, it's a pretty nice trail so far. Got a little bit of water here, very little bit. But yeah, gonna enjoy this hike. Unfortunately, today was supposed to be one of the warmest days. 50 degrees. It's 38 degrees. But we're making the best of it, because that's what we do. Welcome to Reservoir Park in Wolfville, Nova Scotia. There's Morgan and Willow. Oh man, so pretty. Absolutely gorgeous. So we spotted a baby squirrel. Super cute. It's hanging out in a tree. While we were here, we watched a movie called Flora and Ulysses. And it's about a superhero squirrel. Check it out, it's on Disney Plus. We're in Wolfsville, Nova Scotia. Check out the Millennium Trail. It's a very easy uh, walk trail. It all, the, they do a lot of bikes on it, so you know, be mindful of that. But if you just want a nice little easy walk, it's not in the woods, but it's also not on the street. It is not paved. It's a really nice trail. We weren't able to do the whole trail. There was like offshoots everywhere but it was really nice. Mm -hmm. um, I yeah. definitely liked it a lot. And then it takes you over to a reservoir park and reservoir park, it has two different reservoir pools. And then there's trails beyond that even. And that's the part that we did not check out, but it looks awesome. And we would definitely check that park out again if we did come back. Yeah, and so while we were sitting here doing the walk, we are sitting at 62%, so we did lose 3%. And like I said, that's pretty much due to the temperature it's 40, no, 40 degrees it's not warmer by any means so no. we're gonna go uh run some other errands well i just had my first real canadian experience let me say i really love that they recycle so much here in canada and um so i took our recycling in because i just wanted to experience what going to the recycling center really means and well one it's very loud and two pretty dirty and three, I can't believe the guys don't wear gloves. Oh. That's disgusting. I'm sorry. But to me, too much germs. Way too many germs. You're touching everyone else's recyclables. A lot of beer cans. They love to drink up here, apparently. <laughs> A lot of beer cans. Anyway, so here are my little earnings from recycling today. <laughs> Jeez, <boy. laughs> it's lovely. I got about a dollar seventy-five back. Woohoo. <laughs> but yeah. Just so cool to see. It really is something neat to do. Yeah. Oh, you okay, Will? In the yeah. meantime, I think we should go get another ice cream. Oh, the ice cream. Oh, my gosh. Well, Phil, you have the real ice cream shop. And, man, you do live up to your title there. Yeah. Amazing. So, yeah, we might do that again. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we got time to wait until lunch. So, I don't know. <laughs> It's the opposite direction. They're drop back. Oh, we got plenty of range. Oh, goodness. 59%. We're good. Yeah, so so cute that we got a little tip money here now to give to some local Canadian. Because it's going to go to Tim Hortons tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. <laughs> so we're not going to use it. <laughs> so as we were talking about, we did come back. 
and uh, we're not disappointed no. at all. And this we, love vacation is all about yeah indulging. But we absolutely love this ice cream. Now we have seen similar ice cream to this in the Jersey Shore, but this is from Canada, so we're gonna say uh, Canadian special. And now we will arrive and pick up our lunch on perfect timing. But yeah, this is incredible ice cream, so good. Um, and look at their little sign, it's really cute. Oh, oh yeah, it is. It, see, real it says scoop. made from scratch. Mm -hmm. Finally back home and starving. So we did pick up our lunch. We're gonna go and enjoy that. Hoping that the sun will come out and we'll get a beautiful sunset this evening. Drove another 64 kilometers on the uh, mobile connector charging. We're gonna hook that up now because I think we're in for the day, unless something crazy yeah, happens. We're but in. Uh, we should be in. So we're gonna set that. We're gonna set this uh, state of charge to 100% for departure at 5 a.m. tomorrow morning, so we can get on the road and get back to Connecticut in the United States. <laughs> but seriously, what an amazing vacation! I was just telling Morgan, like, literally, I think one of the best vacations we've ever had it was just so peaceful so relaxing and, and like, people really are enjoyable. so friendly up here too oh so yeah it the just added awesome. to the simplicity of life for us for the week it's like being in the south but way up north <laughs> and freezing <laughs> yeah it's free god has answered our prayers and on our final night we got a beautiful sunset behind us so on the first night and the last night, we got a sunset. And all in between, it was pretty much rainy and cloudy. <laughs> gotta make the best of it though. Being up here was absolutely incredible. We loved it. And it was so uh, great to be able to have the ability to charge at the location where we were. We're just gonna soak this up and enjoy this sunset on this porch. Maybe go for another walk in a little Maybe. bit. <laughs> and I don't know where Willow is. Is she behind? Mm -hmm. she's, she's, over she's over here. By the swings. <laughs> Look at these swings. Yeah. So cute. Right, Lil? Did you love vacation? 